I got involved in racing thanks to my dad. My dad used to be a race car driver. He won many championships in Mexico and he did a few international races, including the 24 Hours of Daytona. Since I was born, I grew up watching races and when I was 11 years old, just started racing go-karts and winning go-kart championships and then came to Skip Barber Racing School and started racing cars internationally. And that's how it all got started. The most emotional one was winning the Daytona 24 Hours because it's one of the races my dad raced and it was very emotional for also for him to see his son uh, win it after so many years and also because of the quality of drivers and teams involved it's a very very important accomplishment for any driver to win that race. Working with Scott Pruitt, such a an experienced and accomplished driver in North America. It, it's been a great learning experience. I come from open wheel background where you have teammates, but you, you set up your car for yourself, you work for yourself, and that's, that's everything you do. Sharing a car with someone was, was definitely a big learning experience because you not only have to adapt to different driving styles, but to different setups. And Scott's it's been a great, great person to work with because he's a very good team player and with the amount of experience uh, he has in sports car racing, we just blended it really, really easy, and you're always learning from somebody like him. One time when I was in the junior formulas, in the junior classes, I had a gas leak in, inside the cockpit, which sounds dangerous, because I could have literally gotten on fire, which luckily it didn't. All the, the gasoline started to leak into my bottom, where you see it. So I had a few burns after the race, and I, I couldn't sit for, I'd say, a couple of weeks properly. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Working out, uh, which is fun from one side, it's a hobby, and also it's part of our job to be fit for, for driving these cars. And also I like uh, hanging out with my friends, uh, I like movies a lot, and I, I also fly radio control airplanes. We've been lucky enough to be one of the few countries where we've had NASCAR, Formula One, and Indy cars in our country. So the way people followed me uh, throughout the season and the support I got was amazing. I never expected them to embrace this championship as much as they did when I went back home. And for me, it's great. I always like to race for my country. We are a, a country that needs this kind of results from sports people to get motivation and if I can contribute to give that kind of hope to, to people it really makes me happy. I do have a soccer team because that's the, the number one sport in my country I like uh, Cruz Azul which means uh, blue cross in, in English and in the US I, I started to cheer for the Colts because when I started living in Indy uh, with Ganassi it was right when the Colts were getting ready to go to the Super Bowl. So then I had to pick a team and they won Super Bowl, so now I'm a Colts fan. And that's where my team is at, so there you go. <laughs> what I love about Grand Am is the competition. There were so many different winners, different pole winners, everybody was quick. You don't really see a dominant force here, which is good for the sport. So I think Grand Am does a pretty good job keeping regulations to a point where they keep competition level. Because in the end, racing is about overtaking, it's about fighting in, uh, on the track for a position, and that's what I think Branham uh, achieves really good.